some jelly or butter on it? Hey, Ralph. I need you to move the car, please, okay? Thank you. I'm real. Where's my hug and my kiss? My name is Rafael De Leon. I'm a lawyer, and I'm here with my beautiful family, my wife Tanya, my sons Nicholas, and Rafael Jr. When I met Tanya, I met my mother-in-law, Emily, and it struck me how much love there was in that family, just like ours. My mother was dead, so I ended up kind of adopting Emily as my mother. Emily lives with us. My sister Provi also lives with us. So we are a multiracial and a multi-generational family. Come on, soccer time. I'm Puerto Rican, Tanya's African American. All right, can you grab, we're gonna have to get the balls off the car, okay? I think Tanya and I try to give our kids the things we didn't have. 10, 10 goals today? I'll take five goals, buddy. Or less. No, no. more, five or more, bye, see you later. So I'm on my way to coach my son's soccer team. He's in kindergarten. I come from a family of five. So my mother was a single mom and she kept us together. She kept all the siblings together. She was sort of the glue of all the children. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Nicholas! Good job, baby! Oh. Rafael uh, is 26. He's from a previous marriage. Nicholas loves his older brother. We expect a lot of Nicholas. We expected a lot of Rafael. Well, you know, growing up as an only child for, for 20 years, um, there were a lot of days where I was kind of by myself and, and kind of wished that I had um, a brother or somebody to play with and hang out with. What? Oh, I'm open! I'm open! In some ways, I kind of am able to relive some of the things that I always wanted to do as a child. In a couple of sentences, I would say that our family is a smorgasbord of different influences, different cultures. My sister Provi and Emily, my mother-in-law, do most of the cooking. She's got to take them out like in the next few minutes. As soon as they get warm, I take them out. <laughs> Believe me, they're still crunchy. Well, they have to be crunchy. So they can't be like super soft. You got it, baby. <laughs> they're about the same age, so they get along really well together. But you'll have foods from both the Puerto Rican side and the black side. Today we're going to have a arroz con gandules, which is a traditional Puerto Rican dish. This is what the rice looks like once the water starts to absorb. Because of the multi-generational aspect, you know, there's deference that you pay to your elders. Oh. It's pretty good. You may not always agree with everything they say, but you don't necessarily have to tell them you disagree. You just, okay, whatever. You know? <laughs> Okay, and cinnamon. This is her famous recipe. I learned mostly everything from this lady. This is our family cookbook with all of our recipes. We have an open door policy. You never know who's going to come. Hello. Typically on the weekends, we'll have a house full of people. Some of them may bring some dishes. So you might have 12, 18, 20 people at any one time just for Sunday dinner. Nicholas, what position did you play? They played really well. And there's something symbolic, right, in sharing food and breaking bread with your family members. You pass down values from one generation to the other. I really do feel like we have a village. We have our own little village here. 